Scholars. We're going to do a little quick, short video today for science. This week for science, you're going to be thinking about what a testable question is versus a non-testable question. All right, so that's just a fancy way of saying which kind of question would help you to design a, fan, a really good science experiment, okay? The fanciest, bestest question for having a science experiment. So when I think of a testable question, a testable question you can answer by designing and then conducting an experiment, okay? So for example, if you want to know which pop has the most carbonation, the carbonation is all those little bubbles in it, does Pepsi have more carbonation than Coke? Could you test that? Could you look at some Pepsi and some Coke and could you measure out how much carbonation is in them? You betcha. That makes it a testable question because you can test how much carbonation there would be between one soda or one pop. I grew up where we say soda, sorry. Between one pop and the other pop, then you're going to be able to test that. So does Pepsi have more carbonation than Coke? That's a testable question, okay? How about does changing the amount of light affect the growth rate of plants? Could you test that? Yes, you can. You can change if you give it one hour of light, five hours of light, 24 hours of light. You could change how much light and you could measure how much the plants are growing. That's something you can test. A testable question is something you can design an experiment and test to see if it would really work. Non-testable questions you can't answer by conducting an experiment. So for example, if you were to say, why is purple the best color in the world? Because it is. But if you were to say, why is purple the best color in the world? Can you test that? Not really. That's kind of really based in an opinion. Oftentimes, if something's based in an opinion, it's going to fall under that non-testable category because you can't test it. You can't prove it. Testable, you can prove. Non-testable, not so much easy to prove. Okay? How about if you were to say, why are cats better pets than dogs? Are you able to test that and prove that? You might have opinions that tell you why, but that's not going to lead you to a solid scientific experiment to prove which pet would be the better pet. Okay? So, we're going to look through a couple different um, questions and we're going to decide if it will be a good, yay, testable question or a not testable question. Okay? So, for example, the first one says, which flavor of Fago has the most sugar? So, I'm going to think about this question. Could you design a scientific experiment to find out which flavor of Fago has the most sugar? You could. You could go through and you could look at the labels on them. You could boil it out and collect all the sugar in the bottom, which could be messy, but interesting. So you can find out which flavor of Fago has the most sugar because you can test that. You could design an experiment to prove that answer. That makes it a testable question. You can prove which flavor of Fago would have the most sugar. Let's look at our next one. Why are fish the best pet? Can you prove if fish are the best pet? Think to yourself, do you agree that fish are the best pet? I have a fish. He's a great fish. Is he the best pet? Eh, I don't know. So with that one, that is a non-testable question. You could have answers to it. You could create answers to it. But in terms of creating a good, well-rounded scientific experiment, you would not be able to make a well-rounded scientific experiment that would tell you why fish are the best pet. That makes it non-testable. If you cannot prove it with a scientific experiment, it's going to fall under that realm of non-testable. Our next one. We already said this one. Does changing the amount of light affect how quickly plants grow? So if you were to change how much light a plant gets, whether one hour, two hours, five hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, could you measure it to see how it affects how quickly the plant grows? Yes, you can. Let's think what I just did there. I thought about the ways I could turn that into an experiment. I thought, well, the amount of light, I'm changing it by how long I'm giving it. And I could also be like, yeah, one hour, two hours, five hours. I'm thinking of all those different ways that I could change how much light I'm giving that plant. Or I could think if you were to give it just like shining a light through a tiny hole in a piece of paper versus like bright sunshine light, that's changing the amount too. I just thought of two different ways I could test that. If you could think of ways you could test it with a good scientific experiment, that's testable. Okay? Let's look at another one. How does sugar affect energy? Could you test how sugar affects energy? Let's think for a second. I can think of a couple ways I might want to run a scientific experiment for that. What if I were to go and give somebody a spoonful of sugar and then see how much energy they have right away? In one hour, in two hours, in three hours, in four hours. Could I test that? Yes, I could. What if I were to give someone zero sugar, someone one spoon of sugar, and someone an entire cup full of sugar, and then measure their energy? Could I do that? Yes, I could. 
If you can find a way to turn that question into a well-rounded scientific experiment, then it's going to be testable. Yeah. Two more we're going to look at. What is mass? Could you make that into a scientific experiment? I'm trying to think of ways that I could test that to prove it, and I really can't. That's a good question that you would answer. So like if there was somewhere to say, like, what's your favorite color? You can tell them your favorite color. Do you need an experiment to do that? Not particularly. So since you're just asking a very open, broad question, that is not going to be testable. Testable questions are very specific. So what is mass? Not testable. How about, what is the effect of water on how much a plant grows? Could you decide how water helps a plant to grow? Give it no water, give it some water, give it lots of water, give it like drown the plant with water. Would you be able to see how much the plant grows? Yes, you can. If you can create an experiment in your mind wrapped around that question, it's often going to be a testable question. So now that I know what a testable question is versus a non-testable question, I want to look for some of the things that make it like easy for you to find out that it's a testable question, okay? So a good scientific question can be tested by an experiment or by a measurement that you could do. Can you do an experiment or can you measure it? So let's look at this first one. We said this was testable. So which flavor has the most sugar? I'm looking at which flavor. So I'm looking at more than one. I'm not just looking at how much sugar does rock and rye have. That's just, you can find that answer right away. I'm not really testing something, but which flavor has the most sugar? Can you measure how much sugar there is in these different pops? Yes, you can. All right. Now you'd have to do a couple steps, either by researching it, looking at the nutrition information on the, the bottles or on the cans, um, or like boiling it out and making it really fun and kind of messy and sticky. But you can go ahead and you can create an experiment out of that. Since I can measure that, since this is something that is measurable that I can measure, that makes it a testable question. Okay? Now, why are fish the best pet? We said that that was not testable. Okay? Now, you can take a question and by making it more specific, it can become a testable question. So, for example, if you were to say, um, gosh, if you were to look at, like, which fish eats the most food, all right? If you're looking at, like, a betta fish or if you're looking at a guppy or if you're looking at a goldfish, you could do that. You could look at how does the water temperature affect how much your fish swims. That's something you can measure. If you can measure it, you can test it. It's a testable question. If you cannot measure it, if it is not a measurable thing, it is not a testable question. We got a Sparty here again. Hi, Sparty. Let's look at this next one that we said was testable. Does changing the amount of light affect how plants grow? If you are changing something, starting with like your regular and then adding a change to it, that's going to make it testable too. So I'm looking at does changing affect how something happens, okay? So if I were to look at this, does changing the amount of light affect how quickly plants grow? That's going to be a testable question, okay? If you were to say, does changing the amount of sugar in a pop affect how healthy it is? That's something you can test. If you were to make it testable, measurable, that makes it something that would be a great scientific question to have a wonderful, well-rounded scientific experiment for. Oh my goodness, Kath. So if you're looking at changing something, that would look at how it affects the outcome and that makes it testable. Two more we're gonna look at because we only have two other smiley faces. Sorry for the interruption, scholars. I'm back, all right? So we got two more to look at and then you're free to go practice this on your own. So we looked at two others. How does sugar affect energy? If I'm looking at how does something affect something else, that's gonna be a great format for having a nice testable question, okay? So I'm able to look at how does one thing affect something else? How does sugar affect energy? How does light affect how a plant grows? How does sleep affect health? All right, so you're looking at how one thing affects something else makes it a testable question, all right? Last one, what is the effect of water on how much a plant grows? Again, what is the effect of one thing on another thing? Another testable question. The biggest thing to think about when you're finding a testable question for a scientific experiment is can you take that question and can you create steps for it? 
If you have those steps, are you able to then, oh my goodness, this guy. After you have those steps, are you able to then measure the outcome? Are you able to find out if you're looking at how much a plant would grow? Can you measure how tall that plant would grow? Yes, you can. Now, if you were to say, how does music affect a plant's feelings? You don't know the plant's feelings. But if you say, how much does music affect how a plant grows? You can measure how a plant grows. If you wanted to know how much this guy interrupts my videos, that's not really testable because he just shows up whenever he feels like it. But when you're thinking of a testable question for science, it's going to be something where you can measure the outcome. And remember, a good scientific question, once you have it answered, is going to lead to other good answers. So if you want to know which flavor of Faygo has the most sugar, once you find that out, you might want to see, like, hmm, huh, what other pops have a whole lot of sugar? That leads to other questions. A good scientific question leads to more scientific questions, okay? So... I hope that this is helpful for you. I hope that this information helps you to be super successful as you go through and you're gonna continue your learning in your uh, remote learning packet. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna look at a couple different questions just like we did here and you're gonna find out if they're testable or not testable. Now I explained for each one why it was testable or why it wasn't testable. I hope that information helps you as you go through and you explain your work, all right? And then you get to be the scientist and find out your own testable questions for two really, really cool phenomena in real life. Like there are goats that know how to climb trees. How cool is that? You have to find out a testable question for how, like how you could measure that. Like, how did the goats learn how to climb trees? You're going to want to find out a testable question and that can find out why that phenomenon occurs. You're going to learn about a lake in Russia, Lake Baikal, which is like one of the deepest lakes in the world. And it has turquoise ice, not like clear ice cubes that we have, but like turquoise, like that color ice. So cool. Why does that happen? You have to find out some testable questions to prove it. All right. So good luck, scholars. Super proud of all your hard work looking at our testable questions versus our non-testable questions. And until next time, let's keep our minds active. Let's keep our hearts happy. Let's stay safe. I love you. I miss you. Until next time, goodbye, Scott.